As teachers, we want to facilitate the learning process of our students. Now, when you say facilitation, it's very interesting because at an English language level, it just means we would help them to learn. But how much is the help that we should provide is the subject that I am going to talk about today. We should not make the learning process very difficult. If it is very difficult, students will not be motivated to learn. And hence the teacher's role is to help them so that the difficulties are reduced. However, there has to be some level of difficulty in the learning process. We cannot make it very easy. And there lies the balance. And hence we are going to talk about something called desirable level of difficulty in learning. So how can we as teachers bring in that desirable level of difficulty, which is neither very hard nor very easy? Today, I will talk to you about three things. Let me quickly summarize them. The first one is called the generation effect. It just means that you allow the student to work through the problem. Don't give them the answers very easily. More they struggle, more they learn. The second one is called spacing. We all know that repetition is good for learning. You learn once, you repeat it, you seem to be learning better. But research is telling us that don't repeat immediately. Leave some gap in between the repetitions that makes retention better. And the third one is also quite similar. It's called interleaving. Do not teach them the same subject for a very long time. Switch between subjects. If you take a student through a variety of problems, they seem to be learning about the problem better than if you focus on only one problem at a time. I will now elaborate on each of these. 